welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, February 28th, 2019, and we are very, very excited to have the Corosal Sins in the studio with us today. Take it away, guys. Hey. Hey.
Hell yeah. <laughs> You're watching Audio Your Live with the Cordial Sins. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Doing well. Thank doing well? So well. Yeah. So well. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us on your Chicago uh, stop. Yes, absolutely. How has, how has the tour been so far? With Elvis <sighs> depressively? There's a long answer and there's a short answer, you know? I'll take both. Short answer is it's been awesome. Uh -huh. uh, this is our first extended tour, so... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We're really excited to be out past four days. Okay. Um, and Elvis Presley, they're awesome. They're super hospitable and treating us real well. And mm -hmm. we're uh, also on tour with our friends Knights from Cleveland. Nice. They're also awesome. So... Cool. That's great. So that's the short answer. Yeah, that's the short answer. The long answer is that both John and I got food poisoning and or the flu within oh, the no. first four days. So <laughs> oh, no. So we were barfing before. So that trials. sounds great. Uh, but we did make it through that, and we are now here. So, yeah, it's been quite a journey. I cannot even imagine <laughs> playing on stage while battling barf. <laughs> oh, no. I, like, I commend you for not canceling. Because my, like, weak ass would have been like, I can't. Oh, I know. I'm a big old baby when it comes Same. to being sick. So. I just didn't eat for, like, the yeah. whole day. <laughs> yeah. There was like, well, there's the nothing show. in here to, to throw up, yeah. so I'll just. That's 100% the move. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Is that why you guys were talking about tacos earlier? Is that why Rick has been continually wow. talking about tacos? Uh, tacos. They were and... just the only thing we had to eat this morning. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, because I, I wasn't there for that inside joke, and so I've just been laughing along for right. it. And been like, yeah, yeah tacos. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so you guys are from Columbus, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. What is the... I've only been there once, and I was eight, and I just stayed at the Embassy Suites, so I can't really say <laughs> that I have that much information. you got a good picture there. <laughs> yeah, so what is the music scene like there? Hmm. Okay. Um, well, it's, I would say fairly diverse. Mm -hmm. Maybe John can weigh in on this as well. Cause he is a jazz bassist. Cool. Um, there are definitely a decent number of rock bands. Um, we have a pretty big promotions company there, Promo West. So they bring in a lot of national and regional acts. Nice. Um, as far as alt rock goes. And we also have CD one two five who are big supporters of us. And we are very happy about that all the time. Um, yeah, I mean, I I would say it's fairly diverse. I mean, there's a lot of there's some blues, there's some singer songwriter kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, there are, are I feel like a ton of bands. So yeah, and they have you know I'm also a classical musician, so there's that. And then like I said, you know, John yeah. does a uh, there's jazz. like an incredible amount of uh, at least in jazz mm -hmm. uh, like world class musicians that play as sidemen for. That's amazing. Um, I mean, any number of people like Bobby Floyd mm -hmm. is a pianist that until last year, like, toured with the Count Basie Orchestra, and he was up for Grammy. And Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. there's, I mean, an incredible amount of uh, talent. In yeah. Like, it's like a hidden gem mm -hmm. city, I it would is. say. Yeah. Um, so it's not, I wouldn't say it's always fully recognized for the musical talent that lies underneath it, but they are definitely there. So. Yeah. I feel like Ohio has so many, like, stops in it Yeah, that it, it creates a good... Uh, uh, tour, I suppose, yeah. To, yeah. To, to to really hit the Ohio stops. Yeah, you just go straight up it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> just hit the Columbus, the Cincinnati. <laughs> the C's, three C's. Yeah, yeah the three Cleveland. C's, yeah. I, I know my Ohio right. trivia. You got it, you got it. Um, I also feel like people who are from Ohio are very proud of being from Ohio. Oh, yes. I... I don't know if I am. Really? Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, How I'm could fine you? with it. I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, I wouldn't say that I go out of my way to be like, hey, I'm from Ohio. You yeah. Know? But um, I base that, to be fair, I base that off of like one band that I heard who was like had three songs about it. And then the national has is like very proud mm -hmm. of being from Cleveland. I okay. think they're from Cleveland. Well, at uh, least Matt Berninger is okay. originally. Okay. I do, I but. do feel, and I could be, I have a few friends from Cleveland. I do feel like they're very proud of Cleveland. Uh -huh. So <laughs> I can't speak for the whole state, but I will say Cleveland, yes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> sports wise, oh my God. Ohio yeah. State's a nightmare. I'm from yeah. Chicago, and we don't support any team like the state of Ohio supports Ohio State University football. That's true. Oh, it is true. The, it is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yes. That's true. You, can, you could be at, a restaurant and just yell out OH and someone's going to yell out <gasps> IO. Yeah. People will be it's, pissed if you don't. It's terrifying. <laughs> I kind of like that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, like sizing someone up. Oh yeah. Be totally like, aggressive all the time. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys released an EP in 2017 and I know that, uh, 1025, is that yes. the place? They did an interview with you guys where you talked about sort of, um, 
the aftermath of releasing that EP. And you guys talked about um, like uh, the sort of the balance of like art and commerce a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did you take any lessons from that releasing that EP and like put it towards like the next possible project? That makes sense. Hmm. Um, That's a really great question. (laughs) I mean, we haven't really released anything physically since just because it costs a fortune. Oh yeah, we learned that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I don't know. We so I guess yeah. In a way, we decided we released the EP, and then after that, we decided just to release singles. Mm-hmm. So um, our focus was to kind of come up with really awesome songs that we believe in, and then kind of just do one at a time and see how that went. Because um, we really we're proud of the EP, but also um, I think you can get a lot out of just one song as well. Yeah, especially with how the music industry is changing. Absolutely. So um, we definitely learned that, you know, and we've also. I think probably focused a lot more of our energy on trying to perform more, Mm -hmm. um, which I think has been a smart move for us and we really enjoy doing that. So yeah, yeah, I think that taught us a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. And you're you're able to sort of like hone your sound. Yeah. Yeah, and and playing live is really helpful for that. You know, um, some people may not approve, but we like to play things that we're working on just to see how they sound, um, mm-hmm. how people react to them, see how it feels to play them live so that we don't hate them in oh, three yeah. months. <laughs> that is so, an incredible move. Yeah. I, I, there, I feel like there are so many bands who are like, well, I released this song and now I have to play it all the time. <laughs> right. And so it's just like, well, that's, that's, you just, that's right. how it goes. <laughs> right. We want to, yeah, we want to like try and enjoy what we do. So yeah, yeah, that is, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> you guys are very good at what you do too. So thank you, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> And we'll we'll talk about Coldplay next. Yeah. Right. yeah. I was like, when's she gonna bring it? <laughs> no, I, I got you. <laughs> <laughs>
You're watching Audio Tree Live with the Cordial Sins. All right, so now for the hard hitting stuff. Um, <laughs> so I went pretty far back on your Twitter, Liz. And I think in like September of this past year. Oh, that's not that far. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoa, how so it was hard? 2015. And uh, no. <laughs> um, and you tweeted about listening to early Coldplay. And I was like, I have to ask about this. Oh, when it was rainy. It was rainy. And I think maybe our house was clean, and I was pretty happy about it. Yeah. Oh, I So, I mean, like, I could bring up, just kidding. <laughs> Let's, we're just going to do it on, like, a live reading of your tweets. Um, no, so uh, what is your, so so it's it's taboo to like Coldplay now, a little right. bit. Right. What's your take on Coldplay in the early days. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw something out there and I'm gonna leave this to Corey because okay. he has a much bigger okay. and longer opinion, <laughs> like a dissertation. Oh. Um, I'm gonna pull up a PowerPoint. <laughs> You're like parachutes. Real. Yeah. So I feel like when I was just starting to figure out how to listen to a full album, uh-huh. it was by the time they came out with Viva La Vida. And, and I was like obsessed you know Uh I mean you get some of it gets a little but um but I also had heard you know some of their earlier singles and I just really enjoyed their music um and I really prefer their early music I mean like I can uh I'll go up through Viva La Vida and then I'm kind of like yeah Milo Ziloto I'm like "Eh." right and uh Corey feels, I think, kind of the same, right. but stronger. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I don't know. I was a really big early Coldplay fan. Yeah. I feel like it's 50-50 between people. They're like, oh, you know, Coldplay uh-huh. sucks, period. Or yeah. they're like, yeah, dude, I get it. Yeah. Um, That's always a really interesting phenomenon to me. Also, like, where they're, I feel like maybe for them, Viva La Vida is kind of like this turning point in their career mm-hmm. where they kind of go in a different direction. And some people will be like, die hard, like, oh, they used to be so awesome. And that's people are like, I really love their new stuff. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, I and just, that happens with other bands, too. Uh, I, the first three records are very solid. And I agree. <laughs> The songwriting is phenomenal, and the recordings are amazing. I agree. And <laughs> then we get to Viva La Vida, and I, it's kind of Viva La Vida is kind of fifty-fifty for me. I uh-huh. like some of it, some of it I think is garbage. I yeah. just And then <laughs> I just went garbage. straight into Why? the trash pile. Like, like right. what career. were they thinking? It sucks. I. It's a don't bummer. No. It like fills me with sadness. It yeah. does because, because their music is already really kind of sad in some ways, yeah. and then it just it just got bad. It got <laughs> bad because like, well, I don't want this is like. I don't want to say that it got bad because they got happy, <laughs> but I also don't not want to say that. Right. Yeah. Like, what are the underlying effects here? Like a head full of dreams. Get out of here. Get yeah. out. I think they wanted to get into electronic music, and yeah. they were the worst ever at it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They were like, guys, I got this. Like, let's check this out. And they're like, that's awesome. Like, yeah, they were like, do more of that. <laughs> they had, like, no outside input. Like, yeah. anyone that's like, guys, this is terrible. And they were like, Get that guy out of here. <laughs> like, I think this sounds awesome. <laughs> and then that's like every album since. I agree. Except, okay, Ghost Stories, I forgot about that album, except Midnight is pretty good. That was like the lead single off of that album. Uh-oh. I think that it was so far gone. I was yeah. like, don't even show me a new Coldplay record. I'll light they it have on an fire. album called Ghost Stories. You'll light I it think so. It came out in like 2014, I think, which is a lost year in many regards. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Write the whole thing off. I agree. I mean, yeah, I just, I think Colt, like, looking back, it was never super cool to like Coldplay, I don't think. I don't no. think, like, people were, like, hipsters being, like, Coldplay is okay. great. I, I but also, I, I want to I know your opinion on it, since you have such a strong opinion about early Coldplay. <laughs> Do you think that they are actually a copycat of radio? I was going to say, I don't think so. I, don't, I, I never don't understood that. They were never, they're not arty enough. I, yes. I, until I saw that weird meme with the cat, stencil drawing or whatever it was I didn't I was like I've never heard that yeah. comparison between people were them. always like why like Coldplay when there's a poor man's Radiohead I'm like they're two different things <laughs> I, I, no, yeah, I've never I don't that. see that I'm a huge Radiohead fan I don't see that I agree like both. yeah, yeah. and really I mean different. like I never really listened to Radiohead until like a few years ago but now I like now I listen to them and I'm like I see no no yeah. they're there's just no both resembles. British yeah. that's, that's pretty much it yeah cool. that's literally it and there's like some piano and reverb that's all I'm getting. Yeah. That's all I'm getting. I'm, yeah. now, I'm now picturing Radiohead doing the bump, 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 bump. And how Tom ter- would never let that happen. How terrible that would be. <laughs> oh, no. I want a crossover album. I want With Burn the Witch. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. I'm so glad we had this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm finally got to address that. Yeah. yeah. Do you, which, which of the early albums do you prefer? For Coldplay? Yes. Mm. 
I don't know. I, I I'm the kind of person like I like a mix of all their all their first uh, I don't know Three older records. albums. Yeah, like I it's hard for me usually to pick one album by an artist that I enjoy where I'm just like that's the best one. Yeah. You know, same thing with Radiohead, same thing with like Queens of Stone Age or whatever. You know, I I have a hard time doing that. Um or you know the Beatles, I'm like yeah. I don't know, they got good stuff on all. Yeah, of them, it's hard so. to cuz they're also well, I suppose with the Coldplay, they're not like super different from album to album, but like right. it is a kind of But there are a few like a singles progression. that are just like mm-hmm. super, you know, and that's what makes that's what makes that era of their career so good. Yeah. Um but also I think it maybe could depend on the time of the year, like my mood, what I ate for Agreed. lunch, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't know if it'll, it'll ever be like a sunny afternoon and I'm like Time to listen to Coldplay. Put on some Coldplay. Bring us down. Bring us down a little bit. <laughs> we feel too happy right now. Let's bring it down a little I bit. Come down. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I could talk forever, but <laughs> I want to hear your next song. Thank you for being here. Thank yeah. you for having Thanks us. For us. Yes. Audio Live with the Cordial Sins. Uh, they're, they have two singles uh, out now that you can go and stream. It's Not Enough and Sick of the Hype. And if you are in Chicago tonight, go see them with Elvis Depressedly at the Cobra Lounge. They're also on tour. Go and see their dates at their socials or thecordialsins.com or net.com. Oh, net. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for being here. So much fun. You guys are so good. Um, thank you to the camera and lighting crew. Thank you to the audio engineers that make it all happen. And thank you... Just a huge round. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> um, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.